eight years ago, um, one of our staff people, Catherine Doherty Chapman, who's from Portland, Oregon, she came to me with this cockamamie idea. We called it the Kensington Kinetic Sculpture Derby. No engines, no motors. They have to be pushed, pedaled, or pulled through the neighborhood. They typically take bicycles, old bikes, chop them up into parts, and re-weld them together. Sculpture Derby is an economic development initiative in New Kensington. The idea being to show off the strengths of our neighborhood and specifically label it um, as being a part of Kensington. We're trying to explain to people all the positive things that have been and are continuing to go on in Kensington, um, but at the same time, uh, we want to show them an amazing experience, something that they can't experience anywhere else in Philadelphia, or even really the state of Pennsylvania for that matter. A big barrier to helping or encouraging a business to locate in a neighborhood uh, is the perception of what that neighborhood's like. So we thought that by calling it the Kensington Kinetic Sculpture Derby would be one way to get people to come into the neighborhood see what it was like, and, and to reshape people's perception of the area. It's something really unique, it's something really individual. We draw people from all over our region, including some visitors from New York, Washington, Baltimore, Harrisburg, um, Delaware. Those people, a lot of them, are having their first impression of our neighborhood, which is really powerful. You see more and more businesses opening up every day, like Frankfurt is now littered with art galleries, which is an amazing thing. You got Pizza Brain, Little Baby's Ice Cream, those have all been opening up, and I just couldn't even see those businesses existing eight years ago. Six years ago, my wife and I went down to the festival. And when the derby started, and I saw these weirdos, you know, in human power vehicles parading around the streets, it was really indicative of what the neighborhood was capable of. And I was really just entranced by the whole thing. Six years later, I never would have thought I'd be opening a restaurant on the street. But that was definitely one of the direct results of being into what was going on here. I've been around the derby for a bunch of years now and seen all these creative wild things that folks build on wheels and I figured if they can do that on wheels why can't we have an ice cream store on wheels. Last year we participated and it was the first day we ever had people working for us. We feel a real connection to this particular kind of goofy industrial energy. Yeah this brought the community together and it's kind of forced me to get out of my comfort zone. You know working nine to five and you're like you know what there's a lot of community skills and talents here and the inspiration it's kind of unmatched. So. Here I am, seven years later, this is just a great testament to what happens when you bring the community together around creativity. Yeah, the Kinetic Sculpture Derby has added another layer to that excitement in the neighborhood. It's brought other people into the neighborhood to see what's going on. You know, it's a very family-friendly um, program that happens. It's just been an amazing transformation. The Trenton Avenue Arts Fest and the Kensington Kinetic Sculpture Derby really shines a spotlight on this neighborhood. I may have been reluctant to say what neighborhood I was located in. Today, I tell everybody, there's so much more activity in this area. It's just unbelievable. The event, it, it just can paint a really articulate picture of what this neighborhood could be like in the future when you see 12,000 people out on the street. And I think each year as this festival goes on and more and more people come and more and more vendors and businesses are involved, more people are inspired to come here and live here and work here and start businesses here. Fishtown Kensington really gave birth to Pizza Brain. You know, it inspired me and the people that run it to, to kind of do this thing. We had a lot of support. We're home here like this. We fit in perfectly and I can't imagine Pizza Brain fitting in better in any neighborhood anywhere in the country. We're helping encourage customers, we're helping encourage business owners, we're helping encourage new um, residents and uh, new shoppers. And um, yeah, that's the goal and, and it's, by golly, it's working. <laughs> Seven years later. <laughs>